ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസിനെ കുറിച്ച് ആധികാരികമായിട്ട് സംസാരിക്കാൻ ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ ചീഫ് ഗസ്റ്റായിട്ട് ഡോക്ടർ ശ്യാം കിഷോർ സാർ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ അതിൻ്റെ ജനറൽ ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ ഇന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു തുടങ്ങാം ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളെ വിഷയത്തിലോട്ടും നമുക്ക് എന്തായാലും വന്ന് നോക്കാം ജസ്റ്റിസ് ഡിലേഡ് ഇസ് ജസ്റ്റിസ് ഡിനൈഡ് എന്നാണ് അതായത് അത് നീതി വൈകിക്കുന്നത് നീതി നിഷേധിക്കുന്നതിന് തുല്യമാണ് ഹിന്ദുസ്ഥാൻ ടൈംസിൻ്റെ ഒരു കണക്ക് പ്രകാരം മുപ്പത് ലക്ഷം കേ കേസുകളാണ് ഹൈക്കോടതിയിൽ കെട്ടിക്കിടക്കുന്നത് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ രണ്ടര കോടി കേസുകൾ നമ്മുടെ ജില്ലാ കോടതികളിൽ കെട്ടിക്കിടക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇത് പ്രകാരം ആയിരം വിചാരണ തടവുകളാണ് എന്ത് നമ്മളെ അഴിക്കുള്ളിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് നിൽക്കുന്നത് അവർ നീതിക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ചിലപ്പോൾ അവർ കുറ്റവാളികളാവും ചിലപ്പോൾ അവരെന്ത് നിരപരാധികളാവും ഇവരെയൊക്കെ അവർക്ക് ശരിയായ രീതിയിൽ നീതി നടപ്പാക്കാൻ പറ്റാത്ത എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടോ എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമ്മളുടെ അത്രയും ലൈക്ക് ഫോറൻസിക് സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൻ്റെ കീഴിലുള്ള ആൾക്കാരുടെ അഭാവം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എത്രത്തോളം ജോലി ഒരുപാട് ഓപ്ഷൻസ് നമുക്ക് അല്ല ഒരുപാട് ആൾക്കാരുടെ അഭാവം തന്നെയാണ് അതാണ് അപ്പോൾ എന്താണ് ഇനി ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് എന്നുള്ളത് നോക്കാം ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് നിയമവുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട ശാസ്ത്രം എന്നാണ് ഓക്കെ അതായത് ഒരു ഫോറൻസിക് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് കീഴിൽ എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് വരുന്നത് നോക്കാം നമ്മളൊരു ക്രൈം സീൻ കഴിഞ്ഞ ഒരു സ്ഥലത്ത് ഒരു ക്രൈം സീനിൽ ഫോറൻസിക് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിലുള്ള ആൾക്കാർ അവിടെ പോയിട്ട് ക്രൈം സീൻസിൽ നിന്ന് കുറേ ക്രൈം സീൻസിൻ്റെ എവിഡൻസ് കളക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു നല്ല രീതിയിൽ സൂക്ഷ്മമായ രീതിയിൽ എവിഡൻസ് കളക്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അത് ലബോറട്ടറീസിൽ അയച്ചിട്ട് അവിടെ നിന്ന് കുറേ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ലബോറട്ടറിയിൽ റിസേർച്ച് നടത്തുന്നു അവർ ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇനി ടെസ്റ്റുകളെല്ലാം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് കോടതിക്ക് മനസ്സിലാകാൻ പറ്റുന്ന രീതിയിൽ അതിനെ ഒരു കൺക്ലൂഷ് കൺക്ലൂഷൻ റിപ്പോർട്ടാക്കിയിട്ട് അവർക്ക് സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നതാണ് ഇതാണ് ഒരു ഫോറൻസിക്സ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൽ അവർ ചെയ്തു വരുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഈ ഒരു ഫോറൻസിക് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൻ്റെ കീഴിൽ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒന്നാണ് ഇപ്പം സൈബർ ക്രൈമുകളെ കുറിച്ച് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിനെ ഫോറൻസിക് സൈബർ ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് സൈബർ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് എന്നും പിന്നെ അക്കൗണ്ടിങ് ക്രമക്കേടൽ ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഫോറൻസിക് അക്കൗണ്ടിങ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൽ നിന്നുള്ള പ്രധാന രണ്ട് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിനായിട്ട് തിരിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് എൻ്റെ നോക്കി എൻ്റെ നമ്മളെ ചിന്തകളിലോട്ട് തന്നെ പോകാം ഷെർലോ കോംസിനെ കുറിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടോ എല്ലാവരും കേട്ട് തന്നെ ഒരു ചെറുപ്പം മുതലേ നമ്മൾ വായിച്ച മാഗസിൻസിലും ഷെർലോ കോംസിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ഫിലിംസ് വരെ നമ്മൾ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് അല്ലേ ഒരു പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഡിറ്റക്റ്റീവ് ഏജൻസിയിലൂടെ ഒരുപാട് വലിയ വലിയ കേസുകൾ തന്നെ അദ്ദേഹം എന്ത് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് തെളിയിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹം യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ എന്തൊക്കെയാണെന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്കറിയാം ലൈക്ക് അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ സൂക്ഷ്മമായ രീതിയിൽ ശേഖരിച്ച തെളിവുകൾ കൊണ്ടാണ് അങ്ങനത്തെ കേസുകൾ അയാൾ തെളിവുകൾ എടുത്തിട്ട് ആ കേസ് ബാധിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് ലൈക്ക് തെളിയിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നമുക്കറിയാം നമ്മൾ കേരളത്തിൽ തന്നെ ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് ഫെയിം ആയൊരു കേസുണ്ട് ജോളി കേസ് അതായത് പത്ത് പ പതിനഞ്ച് വർഷം മുന്നേ നടന്ന ഒരു ക്രൈം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ക്രൈമിൽ നിന്ന് ഇപ്പോൾ അതായത് വർഷങ്ങൾക്ക് ശേഷം അതിൻ്റെ എവിഡൻസ് അവർ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ചിട്ട് അതിൻ്റെ കുറ്റവാളിയെ എന്താണ് മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുവരാനും ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പം ഇങ്ങനത്തെ രീതിയിലുള്ള ഒരു പാഷനേറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഒരു ആഗ്രഹമുള്ള ഒരു ഒരു വിദ്യാർത്ഥിക്ക് എന്താണ് ഇങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു സയൻസിനോടും ബയോളജിയെ കുറിച്ചൊക്കെ നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിക്കാൻ ആഗ്രഹമുള്ള ഒരു കുട്ടി ലൈക്ക് അതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെടുത്തി തൻ്റെ പ്രൊഫഷണൽ രീതിയിലോ വരുമ്പോൾ അതൊക്കെ റിലേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു വിദ്യാർത്ഥിക്ക് ഏറ്റവും നല്ല രീതിയിൽ പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു കോഴ്സാണ് ഇനി നോക്കാം ആർക്കാണ് ഈ കോഴ്സ് പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് ആർക്കൊക്കെ പഠിക്കാം എന്നുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ പൊതുവെ പറയുകയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പ്ലസ് ടു ബയോളജി കഴിഞ്ഞ് അതായത് ഫിസിക്സ് കെമിസ്ട്രി ബയോളജിയിൽ അൻപത് ശതമാനം അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് അഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ മൂന്ന് സബ്ജ് സബ്ജെക്റ്റിനെ ടോട്ടൽ ചെയ്ത് തന്നെ ത്രീ ആയിട്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ കിട്ടുന്നതാണ് ആ ഫിഫ്റ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് മാർക്കുള്ള ഏതൊരാൾക്കും എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം പി എസ് സി ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് ക്രിമിനോളജി എന്നുള്ള കോഴ്സ് പഠിക്കാം അത് ഓക്കെ എല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയാം പക്ഷേ ആർക്കൊക്കെ പഠിക്കാം എന്നുള്ള എൻ്റെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അതിനോടുള്ള ഒരു പാഷനേറ്റ് ആണോ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അത് പഠിക്കണം എ
നമുക്ക് ലാബോറട്ടറീസിൽ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അതിൻ്റെ ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റീസും കാര്യങ്ങളും എന്താണെന്നുള്ളത് അവസാനം ഞാൻ പറയുന്നതാണ് സർ പറഞ്ഞതിന് ശേഷം എന്തായാലും അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് ഞാൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് പറയുന്നതാണ് ആ ഓക്കെ അപ്പം ഞാൻ ഈ പറഞ്ഞത് പോലെ നിങ്ങൾ പാഷനേറ്റ് ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്തായാലും ഈ കോഴ്സ് നല്ലത് നിങ്ങൾ എന്തുകൊണ്ട് ഈ കോഴ്സിനെ തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കും എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ബയോളജിയും അതായത് നമ്മൾ ഏതൊരു ക്രൈം സീൻസിലും ഒരു എവിഡൻസ് നോക്കുന്നത് വളരെ സൂക്ഷ്മമായ രീതിയിലാവും നിങ്ങൾ അങ്ങനത്തെ ഫോറൻസിക് എന്നുള്ള നമ്മൾ മലയാളം മൂവിയിൽ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടാവും ആ ഫോറൻസിക് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൻ്റെ ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് ആണ് ആ ഒരു കേസ് തെളിയിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഈ ചെറിയൊരു സൂക്ഷ്മമായ രീതിയിൽ നമ്മൾ ഹാങ് ചെയ്ത ഒരാൾ അത് ഒരാളെ കൊന്നതിന് ശേഷം അത് ഹാങ് ചെയ്തതാണോ അൻ അയാൾ സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ആത്മഹത്യ ചെയ്തതെന്നുള്ളത് തെളിയിക്കാനൊക്കെ വളരെ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ആ റൂമിലെ എന്തൊക്കെയാണോ അവിടെ ആ എവിഡൻസ് ആയിട്ട് അവർക്ക് എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് അത് ഓരോരുത്തരും ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് ആവും ഞാൻ പോ ഞാനൊരു ഫോറൻസിക് എക്സ്പേർട്ട് ആയെന്ന രീതിയിൽ ഒരാ ഒരു കേസിന് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേറ്റ് പോയിട്ട് അവിടെ നിന്ന് എടുക്കുന്ന തെളിവുകളെല്ലാം വേറൊരാൾ പോവാം അപ്പോൾ എന്താ നമ്മളേതായ ഒരു ക്രിയേറ്റീവ് മൈൻഡും നമുക്ക് ഏതൊക്കെ ഈ തെളിവുകൾ എടുക്കുക എന്നുള്ള രീതിയും അത് നമ്മൾ ബയോളജിയുടെ അറിയുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ കെമിസ്ട്രി അറിയുമ്പോൾ നമ്മളെ ഫിസിക്സ് അറിയുമ്പോൾ എല്ലാം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമാണ് അത് ഏറ്റവും നല്ല രീതിയിൽ നമുക്കത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് ഇപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലായിരുന്നു നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ബയോളജി അതായത് സയൻസിനെയും ഈ ലൈക്ക് ഈ ക്രൈമിനെയും അത് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് പഠിക്കണം അതിൽ നല്ല രീതിയിൽ ജോബ് ജോലി ചെയ്യണം എന്ന് ആഗ്രഹമുള്ള വ്യക്തികളാണെങ്കിൽ ഒബ്വിയസ്ലി ഈ കോഴ്സ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് തന്നെയാണ് ഓക്കെ ഇനി എവിടെയൊക്കെയാണ് ഇത് പഠിക്കേണ്ടത് പൊതുവേ നമ്മൾ കാണുന്നതാണ് ഏത് പ്ലസ് ടു വരെയും നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും നാട്ടിലിങ്ങനെ പഠിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് നല്ല നല്ല സ്കൂളിൽ നമ്മളെ പേരൻസിന് ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ആഗ്രഹം എന്താണ് കുട്ടികളെ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിൽ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല കോളേജസിൽ പഠിപ്പിക്കണം എന്നതാണ് അവരെ അതായത് ചില മാതാപിതാക്കൾ ചിന്തിക്കുന്ന കാര്യം എന്ന് അവർക്ക് നല്ല വിദ്യാഭ്യാസം കിട്ടിയിട്ടുണ്ടാവില്ല ചിലപ്പോൾ ചില ആൾക്കാർക്ക് നല്ല വിദ്യാഭ്യാസം ഉണ്ടാവും അപ്പം നല്ല വിദ്യാഭ്യാസം കിട്ടാത്ത ഒട്ടുമിക്ക പേരൻസും ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് എൻ്റെ മക്കൾ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല രീതിയിലുള്ള ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല സ്കൂൾസിൽ പഠിച്ചിട്ട് നല്ല വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളാണ് നല്ല ഭാവിയിൽ നല്ലൊരു കരിയർ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഉള്ള ഒരാളായിരിക്കണം എന്ന് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് ഈ പ്ലസ് ടു വിദ്യാഭ്യാസം കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പിന്നെ ഒരുപാട് കരിയർ നമ്മൾ മുന്നിൽ തുറന്നു കിടക്കുന്നതല്ലേ അപ്പം ഒരുപാട് സെമിനാർസ് അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇതുപോലെ വെബിനാർ അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നു പക്ഷേ ഇന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ ഇവിടെ എത്തിയിട്ടുള്ളത് ഇതിനോടൊരു താല്പര്യം കാണിച്ചതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് പറയുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾ ഇതിനെക്കുറിച്ചൊന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ച് നോക്കി ഞാൻ ഈ പറയുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളും ഈ വെബിനാർ കണ്ടതിന് ശേഷം ചിന്തിക്കുക എന്തിനാണ് ഞാൻ എനിക്കിത് ആപ്റ്റാണോ ഞാനിത് ചെയ്യണോ വേണ്ടത് എന്നുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങളൊന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ച് നോക്കുക ഓക്കെ ഈ പ്ലസ് ടു പഠന ശേഷം ചില ആൾക്കാർ പറയും നിങ്ങൾ കേരളത്തിൽ പഠിച്ചാൽ മതി എൻ്റെ മോളെ ഞാൻ കേരളത്തിൽ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നുള്ളൂ എൻ്റെ മകനെ ഞാൻ കേരളത്തിൽ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നുള്ളൂ കേരളത്തിലും പഠിക്കുന്നത് നല്ല തന്നെയാണ് അതായത് ഏത് കോഴ്സ് എടുത്താലും നല്ല ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ നമ്മളെ നാട്ടിലുണ്ടെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതാണ് ഏറ്റവും നല്ലത് ചില കോഴ്സ് പുറത്ത് പഠിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ചില ആൾക്കാർ ലാംഗ്വേജിൻ്റെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ പറയാറുണ്ട് ചില ആൾക്കാർ അവിടുത്തെ എക്സ്പ്ലോർ അവിടെ കിട്ടുന്ന ആ ഒരു അഡ്വാൻസ് ടെക്നോളജിയെ പറ്റി പറയാറുണ്ട് ഇതിൻ്റെ ബി എസ് സി ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് ക്രിമിനോളജി സിലബസിലെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഞാൻ പറയുന്ന അനാറ്റമിൻ്റെ ഫിസിയോളജി അങ്ങനെ ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾ പഠിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അനാറ്റമി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ട് പഠിക്കേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യം തന്നെയാണ് അപ്പം ഒരു ക്രൈം സീനിൽ ഒരു അനാറ്റമിക്ക് എത്രത്തോളം ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഉണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആ കോഴ്സിൻ്റെ ബാക്കി കാര്യങ്ങളോട്ട് കാണുമെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നതാണ് ഈ അനാറ്റമിയെ കുറിച്ച് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ പഠിക്കുന്നത് ആരാണ് എം ബി ബി എസ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് തന്നെയാണ് എം ബി ബി എസ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആണ് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ അനാറ്റമിയും കാര്യങ്ങളും പഠിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പം അവർക്ക് കിട്ടുന്ന എക്സ്പോ എക്സ്പോഷനിൽ തന്നെ നിങ്ങളും പഠിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഏറ്റവും നല്ലത് അത് അത് തന്നെയല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ ഒരു മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജിൻ്റെ കീഴിൽ വരുന്ന ഒരു കോളേജിൽ നിങ്ങൾ പഠി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയിൽ പഠിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതാണ് ഏറ്റവും നല്ല ഓപ്ഷനായിട്ട് ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ലൈക്ക് എന്താ പറയുക നമ്മളെ സൗത്ത് ഇന്ത്യയിൽ തന്നെ വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഒരു ഫേമസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയാണ് ശ്രീനിവാസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി അപ്പം നമ്മുടെ ചീഫ് ഗസ്റ്റായ ഡോക്ടർ ശ്യാം കിഷോർ സാറ് അവിടുത്തെ ഫോറൻസിക
basic what you say science pcmb uh, it is required for you to get inside the course what is being offered by us uh, the, there are two courses another one is cyber security also which is being offered um, that is also a very good field for you to take up along with forensic science so moving on moving on with forensic science as such investigation and uh, what do you say helping out a legal uh, uh, what do you say a system in our country it has been uh, what do you say being done by regular science graduates uh, up until now also uh, a specialty field as such in forensic science is where we were lacking in our country in uh, usa and other places uh, and other western countries forensic science is a very big subject but in our country we were lacking so that is why uh, studying forensic science and also helping out with the legal uh, entities in our country yeah, it has become a matter of importance now mm -hmm. so uh, doing bsc forensic science definitely will get you uh, very good uh, opportunities later on when you uh, come out uh, finishing your three and a half years of course so your uh, opportunities might arise either uh, in a government setup where it will help you basically uh, in uh, clearing uh, police service exams as well as there are many, many of the students who have completed BSc uh, as well as MSc forensic science who have applied for uh, what you say uh, CBI as well as other investigative uh, investigative authority uh, related uh, what you say uh, branches also. Okay. Other than that, even in private setup, um, as a private investigator, you can. Uh, uh, pursue your interest in forensic science, which is very, very, what do you say, understudied in India. And also, there are not many private investigators in India. Uh, uh, the advantage, what uh, we have here in our universities, we have a tie up with a private uh, uh, investigative agency. Oh. Other than that, uh, what in, in the course structure, what we have is of six semesters along with one semester of internship. Our goal is to take you slowly into what you say the forensic science field basically in first year that is first and second semester we are going to teach you uh, things related to human body basically you being forensic scientist should know everything about human body other than that, other than that you also should know about uh, other physics and chemistry related aspects also which will come later on but then uh, in first and second semester you are going to study about anatomy physiology biochemistry and as well as patho micro and pharma there is a reason why we took this uh, course this way, uh, apart from what others are offering. So, knowing about basic, knowing basics about human body, along with the basics about uh, uh, different pathologies present in the body, as well as different uh, organisms and also different uh, drugs and medicines, that is very much important because when when you encounter some crimes, and as well as when you start working in forensic science laboratories uh, tomorrow. Basically, you should know what are different medicines present, okay, what all poisons a person can take and come, or what are the different pathologies, or uh, what are the different uh, uh, diseases a person can uh, have, basically. Because you should be able to differentiate between uh, normal and abnormal things. Along with that, we are also going to introduce you to psychology, a little bit of uh, what you say, uh, when you are dealing with the criminals, the mind of the criminal also is very much important for you. Uh, you should know why a person uh, behaves in a certain uh, manner. That is also important. And after this first year of basics, basic human body as well as basic uh, related to forensic science and also basic uh, criminal psychology, in the third and fourth semester, that, that is second year, you would be first studying year they are studying the only the basic science, right? Yeah, first year is only basic science and okay. basic forensic science. There is okay. a small introduction to forensic science also, which they are going to study. Okay. Uh, other than that, there is a uh, compulsion that they should learn English uh, okay. and spoken Kannada also. That, that is because uh, uh, our college is in Karnataka, that, uh, that is very easy. We will teach in English and they should just repeat it in Kannada. That, that is an easy aspect. That is a compulsion in all universities which are present in state states. Like in Kerala, if you have to go, you have to learn a little bit of... It is better for students to know different languages, is it not? So, it is an easy yeah, thing which our students are coping up with. Okay. Uh, and uh, in the second year, third and fourth semesters, so there is something called as forensic dermatographics, that means fingerprint uh, analysis. Mm -hmm. You might, uh, what do you say, uh, know that there is something called as uh, DNA analysis, which uh, everybody knows. 
there, there is one speciality about fingerprinting. For example, if there is, if, if you have a crime and somebody leaves some uh, evidence there, it can be some biological evidence as well as some physical evidence or even fingerprints, which uh, amounts to physical evidence uh, itself. So in biological evidence, you, you, you will study something related to DNA, is it not? What if that the criminal had a twin brother? The, basically, the DNA would be same, is it not? If it is a uh, monozygotic twin, if it is a uh, identical twin, the DNA yeah. would be same. So how, but, but fingerprinting, that is a speciality. No two fingerprints are alike. Even in twins, fingerprints will differ. So that, that is why we would like to teach you. That, that is a, this is a very old technique, fingerprinting, but then very relevant to even today. So that is why we will be teaching you in depth about uh, forensic dermatographics, that is fingerprinting. Along with the fingerprinting, there are other uh, body parts also which li which has special uh, what you say ridges and characteristics like fo footprint even lip prints and they are also very much important some sometimes a robber might enter the house there he might feel thirsty and he will uh, take a glass of water and drink oh, and uh, he will li leave his uh, lip prints there uh -huh. uh, in that glass even with the help of that also uh, somebody might uh, be able to catch a criminal other than that we are also going to teach you a little bit about computer applications I will come into that later on why we are teaching basic computer application now along with that criminal law, criminalistics because legal aspects we, we are going to help a legal system that is why we should know a little bit about legal aspects also and uh, also uh, uh, criminalistics how a, cr a criminal will behave and uh, uh, all those things we will study in third semester mm -hmm. along with that fourth semester mm -hmm. uh, what we are going to study is uh, some technological methods in forensic science and drug analysis we are going to study we are all in pharmacology we would have seen different drugs but then to analyze them, we need to study drug analysis. And this drug analysis will take, uh, what you say, there are a few uh, machines which are being uh, used to analyze drugs like uh, the high-performance high uh, liquid chrom chromatography or gas chromatography and all those machines are being used in FSLs. And we, we are going to, uh, what do you say, teach you uh, about these technological methods. We have a, uh, in our university, we have our pharmacy division where you can learn about these uh, technological methods uh, which are used in uh, forensic science. Okay. Other than that, there is something called as questioned documents, which you might have heard about, forgery. What is that? Uh, signature forgery, uh, uh -huh. check forgery, uh, even document forgeries, all those things you might have studied. Even that becomes a very big part in forensic analysis. And uh, for that, we, ha uh, we have our faculty who are actually uh, well trained in uh, uh, question documents and uh, they, they, they'll be very uh, helpful to you in teaching how uh, these signature forgeries as well as document forgeries, um, how to analyze them and how to uh, catch the culprit with the help of that. Okay. Other than that, we, next we are going to study something uh, again a little bit of basics of forensic chemistry as well as forensic physics because the physics and chemistry is very much important not only with the body fluids and body related things you are also going to study something related to other than body elements also because when you are doing a personal in, uh, investigative uh, things or when you are working in a forensic science lab even mm -hmm. physics and chemistry is very much important so basically chemical components and also uh, uh, physics is very much important in case of road traffic accidents and other things so and uh, chemistry in explosives and other uh, materials so that, that is very much important for you that is why so basics of uh, physics chemistry physics biology and are chemistry there, you right? are going to learn yeah yeah so both physics chemistry biology are there uh, yes basics only basics you, they are going to study here Fine. because later on uh, yeah, uh, uh, that, that is because it becomes a part of uh, forensic science they should yeah. learn about these things if, if uh, these things are miss, missing in a forensic science curriculum it is not complete so they need to study uh, biology also other than physics and chemistry biology in the sense anatomy physiology biochemistry and uh, physics and chemistry is also very much required other than mathematics they are going to study everything a little bit of statistics is also included in their curriculum because we uh, in Srinivas University uh, stress upon research because uh, in this age in this uh, young what do you say students age undergraduate uh, time if we instill a little bit of research methodology in them or research skills in them, uh, tomorrow they will become very good scientists or that, such kind of uh, idea if you put inside their head definitely it, be, it comes a long way because we, we as a country we need to grow in that aspect also. If you see China so much research is happening why, why are they ahead 
If you yes. see America, so much research is happening. But then in our country, curriculums are not being modified properly from long period of time. But then we, as a private university, we have the freedom to, what do you say, uh, adjust the curriculum about how we want, basically. Okay. So that is why studying about, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, research methodology and all this is very important uh, for uh, uh, the growth of a student. Okay, fine. Okay, now moving so, on to the final year, okay. there they are going to study something called as forensic medicine. That is what MBBS students also learn in second year. So, forensic medicine is something which they should learn. Because tomorrow, okay. um, in a crime scene, dead bodies also might be encountered. Mm -hmm. yeah, in a crime scene, even dead person will be there, is it not? So, when they go to the crime scene uh, from FSL or as an investigator, uh, they should know how to handle the body there and they should know how to collect evidences in the crime scene related to the body as well as something unrelated to the body also. So, that is very much important. Along with that, they will study forensic biology and forensic serology. That is related to body fluids. So, body fluids might be present anywhere uh, around, is it not? Even saliva might be there, yes, yes. Uh, even uh, other body, bodily fluids will be there. So, how to collect this, those bodily fluids from the crime scene as mm -hmm. well as how to examine them uh, in a given setup, in a laboratory setup. That is also what we are going to teach them. Uh, in uh, in the fifth semester. Along with that, in the sixth semester, they are going to study something called as forensic anthropology. What so, not that? only dead bodies, sometimes in forests or some um, uh, somewhere in a secluded place, you might find bones also, some okay. bones. Hmm. So, how to study about those bones, whether they are human or not, whether they are uh, bone or not, basically. Sometimes even uh, wood, wood might look like bone, is it not? Or plastic bones also will be there. So, okay. that you might have to examine that. Uh, basically, along with that, uh, whether that bone belongs to a human being or animal, whether mm -hmm. the, that bone belongs to a male or a female person, uh, okay. what was the height of the person, uh, all those things you can study from a given bone. That's when uh, being with, attached to a medical college also helps because so, uh, that is where forensic medicine doctors will be there. Okay. Uh, I myself am a forensic medicine uh, man uh -huh. and I'm in charge of uh, Allied Science College here. So, okay. that is where we will come into picture. We have a uh, uh, professor who has 25 years experience who was in government service and uh, sh she is heading the department of forensic medicine in our medical college and she will take care about because, because she has vast, uh, um, what do you say, uh, clinical knowledge regarding this. So, definitely that is very helpful. Along with that, you will also study forensic toxicology, something related to poisonous plants, poisonous animals, uh, poisonous chemicals, all those things. How what, what will be the clinical feature once a person takes it and what are the changes which you see in the body once uh, mm -hmm. those poisons are taken in, even those uh, we are going to teach our students. Other than that, there is uh, something called as digital forensics, basically, uh, what do you say, photography or even uh, uh, something related to computer or mobiles, a basic uh, uh, structuring we are going to give you in the six, that is the last semester regarding that, along with the forensic ballistics. Okay. There are some people called as ballistics experts. Basically, they are forensic experts itself, but then they will have further training in ballistics. What okay. is ballistics? Ballistics means study of firearm and explosives. Study of? So, a firearm, firearm, guns, okay. bullets, ah, fine, fine, all fine. those things. Guns, bullets and all. That is also very much important. Gun related crime, all. Although in South India it is a little bit less, but then in North India, you know that uh, there are a lot of gun related crimes. Recently itself, uh, you know, eight police people were murdered by a criminal and uh, basically even he was gunned down by the police people, is it not? Yeah, so yeah, in such can. kind of uh, gun related crimes, a ballistics expert uh, he, who himself is a forensic expert with a little bit more knowledge in ballistics, he will go to the crime scene and he will study from where the uh, shooter was there, from where did he fire, which angle did he fire, what was the different, what was the cartridge used, what was the gun uh, from which it was fired, all those things uh, a ballistics expert will study. And uh, uh, that is also a major subject in the sixth semester, that is the last semester of uh, the course. Along with that, at the end, there is a six months internship period. This is where we give our students a little bit of uh, choice, basically. Okay. So, there, there, there are two choices for the student there. Either he can pursue six months uh, cyber security related internship, which is offered by our own engineering, uh, uh, what do you say, section here, engineering college is present in the same campus. Either you can go and study cyber security for six months along, uh, we will give you a certificate also that you had uh, studied uh, about cyber security there, okay. internship about cyber security you done, or else you will be offered uh, what do you say, internship in our 
uh, partner uh, institutions and our partners. Basically, I told you know we are uh, associated with the, uh, a private investigative agency, and basically they will offer you a forensic science related and investigation related uh, internship for six months. So in their, uh, student premises. can select. Yeah, student can select. It's up to their interest. Some people will be interested in computers. Some people will be interested in private investigation as well as forensic science. So at that last juncture, mm -hmm. they will know what they want. Once they study for three years, they will know where they want to uh, yeah. go forward with. So th that is an opportunity for them. Uh, student can select. Uh, we have engineering college here also. Basically, they will be studying about computer applications earlier itself. A little okay. bit ahead, we are going to take it for those six months and uh, they will st uh, study something related to mobile security and computer security and all those things uh, for six months. It's not a full fledged course or anything, but, but it's just an internship for them. And during that six months, they are supposed to do a small research related to whatever internship they are doing. Okay. Uh, so that for that, we have enough number of guides. We have faculty here uh, who will guide them about how a research has to be done. Okay, and how uh, and they should uh, uh, what do you say uh, print out a small book related to their research uh, th that that completes their internship at the end. Oh. There will be a small viva about uh, how the internship uh, process went through, and we will also test uh, how much knowledge they have acquired in their internship also before they are let out into the world basically uh, oh. for before they are let out into uh, yeah. their respective jobs. Uh, so, so I hope the students get the full complete structure of the course. And uh, so yes. there is uh, there is one question asked by one student like whether yeah. one uh, this uh, like uh, commerce student can continue like uh, uh, do this course. Uh, no 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 uh, there is a difficulty there would be difficulty for a commerce student to to do BSc forensic science. Okay. Uh, for a commerce student he can he or she can choose uh, cyber security which mm -hmm. we are offering for all uh, uh, what you say course uh, structures. So if they want something related to cyber security, I can uh, pitch in a little bit about it. And other than that, I have uh, my uh, course coordinator for cyber security, Devasilan, here nearby. Uh, if you if, if the students are interested, I can tell them related to that course. Okay, fine. First, we can show our college video. Then uh, she can speak yeah, about the sure. cyber security. Okay, sir. Sure, sure. So sure, let's. Namo kendra lo a Srinivas University ne aaru video ne kandu noka. Apo just a video pe playam bo na I'm working as a lecturer in College of AHS, which comes under Srinivas College. And uh, I have completed my MSc in uh, Forensic Science. Uh, forensic Science really serves the society. And uh, uh, after studying the uh, MSc Forensic Science, one can become Forensic Scientist who will always assist the police in criminal investigations. The main uh, utility of Forensic Science is that most of the cases, the police people do not know how to handle the evidences in the crime scene. So the evidences get um, damaged and even it becomes a, a bad impact for the case. Court also needs uh, powerful evidences. So um, as, a ba uh, as a basic principle of forensic science, facts never lie but people can lie. So the court also relay on forensic evidences which is a scientific, which has a scientific value. So uh, the main role of forensic scientists is that they can know how to handle the evidences properly without collapsing even if it is, there are many kinds of evidences that can be uh, acquired from a crime scene like blood, hair, nail, fiber which has its own specific forensic importances to a case. So students, after completing their BSc Forensic Science, there is a wide variety of scope 
not only in India but also in abroad. In India, there are uh, labs which comes under government and non-government sector. Under government sector, there may be less chance, but under uh, private sector, that means there are lot of private labs in India which uh, comes under the forensic science department, and they hire wide variety of uh, people from this um, basic. Which, uh, students which have a BSc forensic degree and uh, there will be a lot of scope as well as uh, those who have completed BSc they can uh, go for masters or they can go for ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ തന്നെ നിങ്ങളിപ്പോൾ വീഡിയോ കണ്ടല്ലോ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട്സും കാര്യങ്ങളും ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അത് ടൈപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് നമുക്ക് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഒരു സാറിന് തന്നെ ഒരു ഡൗട്ട് ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്യുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് ക്ലിയർ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു സെക്ഷൻ ഉണ്ട് അപ്പം ആ ടൈമിൽ അത് ചോദിക്കാം സോ സോ യു ക്യാൻ കണ്ടിന്യൂ സർ ഓക്കെ സോ ഐ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടെൽ സംതിങ് റിലേറ്റഡ് സൈബർ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് സൈബർ ഫോറൻസിക് കോഴ്സ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് देयर വിച്ച് വിച്ച് വുഡ് ബി ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ നോൺ സയൻസ് സ്റ്റുഡന്റ്സ് ബേസിക്കലി സോ Well, uh, there there are there are some job titles which uh, uh, these uh, cyber security students might uh, uh, what do you say be interested with they can become uh, what do you say penetration testers uh, information security managers security consultants uh, even forensic auditors also they can become but then what is the core structure here the core structure is there will be so- something related to uh, forensic science what they are going to study uh, like uh, this criminal law criminalistics Uh, what is a basic forensic science all those things mm-hmm. they will study the, but things related to biology will not be there for them because they are okay. so, someone who is related to cyber security so basically they will be studying about uh, what you say uh, uh, computer architecture uh, basic computer coding and all those things they, they will be studying with the help of uh, computer science department of our engineering college so okay. uh, that is when uh, uh, what you say th- that is where uh, uh, this course is a little bit apart from uh, for the forensic science course bsc forensic science and criminology course what we are offering so both are there in our department but then one of them we are taking help of uh, what you say engineering college uh, or shrinivas university engineering college what is there and uh, the faculty from there uh, will be teaching uh, uh, things related to computer science and also cyber security rest oh, of the I'm things fine. are uh, managed by our own faculty uh, who are uh, uh, teaching forensic science so oh. that, that that can be taken up by Uh, what do you say non science even science students can take but non science students also can take up that and uh, they can make uh, what do you say if they are interested in forensic science they can they are all very very much welcome for that even course. humanity students can take right yes that that is one course which anybody can take okay fine fine okay so you can continue like uh, she's going to uh, your faculty is coming uh yeah i um, i have uh, all my faculty here so basically uh, th- there is uh, devasilan Uh, who will uh, talk a little bit uh, related to uh, the private investigation what is private investigation and how forensic scientists are better uh, uh, in conducting private investigation as well as police investigation related investigation so yeah. i would like to welcome uh, uh, one of our associate professors uh, mr devasilan uh, who is going to uh, talk or look something related to uh, investigation welcome sir welcome to our vina hello Mm-hmm. Okay, welcome, welcome, sir. Hello, I'm audible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are audible. Okay. Yeah. Yes. See, at present scenario, like uh, our course, especially this forensic science and criminology, and for a computer forensic, cyber security, these all the things is a kind of uh, applied science type of pattern which we can implement into day to day life, like whatever problem we are facing. Okay. okay. So. it can be like you know it can be uh, first uh, on scope aspect while explaining uh, when we are talking about scope that means like you know that uh, particular things it has to create like you know job opportunity first then it should be applicable to in the all the layers of sectors like it can be society aspect it can be like you know their life aspect as well as for organization aspect so in this all the aspect may this course will be helpful to everyone and like even the job aspect also when we are seeing like you know government sector as sir sir said like government sector private sector corporate in all the aspect we are give will get a placed but how we will play the unique i mean like you know how we are playing important role in that particular aspect in sense we we'll know the law legality aspect we know the technicality aspect 
we know how to implement that particular things into that particular aspect this all the aspect may be we'll have that unique idea and like you know how to apply that procedure all the things okay, okay. so if like in the same aspect private sector in which uh, sir sir like you know uh, to talk about it private sector at present if you are seeing the developed countries like government how to what level it's playing important role same aspect of private sector also playing very important role india is in a country is like you know developing position at present is there so the private sector like you know focusing on like giving importance to the private sector it's playing very important at the same time like you know nowadays the people are getting identified more in that particular aspect equivalent to like government sector okay so in that aspect even we can perform for a civil cases in all the layers like you know giving as expert evidence into the court of law it can be handwriting aspect or it can be a personal uh, information like you know family oriented information things mm -hmm. or else like you know technicality oriented or like you know sort it out in the crime as a secondary evidence like you know our opinion to the uh, court of law also so like this in all the aspect like we people are getting at present days like you know more importance even in the private sector aspect also other than that even here like not only the forensic oh. science not only the computer science how we can apply this one into the real world that aspect also our course is like giving more focus like take example one investigation investigation aspect when we are seeing it's not only for a criminal matter even in the mm -hmm. civil matter also in day to day life we are facing lot of problems okay we can take again one precise example like okay one matrimonial cases like you know husband and wife between the issues when in that aspect also whatever husband said all the time it's not the true whatever wife said that also it's not a true yeah. but which one when it can be acceptable in the court of law evidence when we are producing certain things called as evidence in the court of law that time only they will get an idea oh, okay yeah this x and y is having this is a issue so x is a committing the problem to the y so like this we can prove in the court of law so that all the aspect everybody are not intelligent to do that things so that time this private investigators playing very important role when we okay. are going and talking to the particular person when we are sharing our issues sir this is x and y the things is doing like this will then those people will suggest or those people will collect behalf of you the evidence and will hand out to you based on that you will get the justice in the court of law it's okay. like you know one family oriented like i mean family oriented things if it is there in like this in the sense when on corporate sector business sector it's called as like you know take example one industry is there in the industry obviously if i am uh, producing one biscuit today my formula can be copied by somebody tomorrow they will produce another things they are my competitors always like you know the copycat things they will do whatever implementation whatever research i am doing today based on that lot of struggle i am finding something i am implementing into the market but somebody will come today they just yes, they will copy my techniques and they will make money and they will go yeah so that time to find out whoever is there like you know in my company they are genuine to me or not or whoever is like i'm going to hire they are genuine to me or not so like this this all the things like you know to monitor that internal spy activities purpose also is things is there it's called as espionage work so that like this the implementation how it can be another one is in industry aspect is called as copyright issues like you know whatever it is in a cyber we'll study about copyright things copyright today like you know like a facebook why another person can't start like a facebook even if they are starting they have to give a royalty why yeah. then for like this like a twitter and like this lot of uh, technology oriented industries i mean like you know companies are there why another person can't duplicate that so like this the like implement the ideology what you have how you can preserve in this present day so those type of aspect also this courses like you know going to help out another one is government aspect government is obviously for the people to the people like this lot of uh, uh, like you know different different aspect government is giving like you know value to you protection to you and like you know what a lot of other ways so in that way aspect like you know protecting you from the crime also is playing very important role so that time it can be economical offense or normal it can be any type of offense to something if it is happened how you can we can bring you out of it okay how we can reconstruct it so like this in all the aspect also 
how you can apply the techniques into that particular issue and how we can bring you out of it in that aspect also our course and like our syllabus is playing very yeah. important role it can be again i'm repeating it can be a commercial industrial residential residential means like you know family oriented things can okay. be any of this aspect this chronology and forensic science as well as this our cyber security and the networking things okay. how you can implement that things like ultimately you know first we'll make you to like mm -hmm. learn how to protect yourself then how you can protect surrounded by you whoever it is it can be by a whoever it's like you know, depends on your kind of organization or anything in this aspect other than that like you know scope scope aspect other than the private sector in the sense you are eligible for uh, all the government radiation things is there like kind of a police or ias ips all the defense related things you are eligible okay okay sir there is a question from so, our student side please uh, yes, can a student without opting computer science in plus 2 can choose cyber security yeah yes they can but the thing in the course of time they have to learn computer science and for some type of programming language when they ready to develop their knowledge when they ready to accept the uh, course of things then yeah they are what about the internship like uh, after completing 3 uh, year course uh, after completing 3 year course yeah, anyways some um, even they can select internship uh, for so cyber security uh, like you know other add on courses type they can select even though if they are from some different course if they want to study this computer science anyways extra classes will be provided to them like you know based on their interest anyways they have to learn like lot of programming things and for basic concept of computer and functionality of the computer like this lot of other sectors things are there whoever is out of the field but their own interest when they want to learn we are ready to give the extra class for them okay fine 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 And so there yes. is one more question asked by one student yes. Ben. Why we select ah. Srinivas University? Yeah, I, I would like to answer that if uh, yeah, uh, if yeah. you allow me. And there are uh, what do you say? There are many reasons which I would like to give Srinivas University why we are selecting. Okay. See, we 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 were the first ones basically to start this course here. I was very instrumental along with our two faculty who are sitting here. Yeah, these these both are. very senior faculties in mangalore uh -huh. uh, uh, with the what do you say uh, good day, teaching experience we developed this uh, entire course structure from scratch when we developed this structure basically ugc uh, related the structure is there it was developed in 2015 but this structure what we developed it it went a great thought went into developing this structure and basically this uh, whatever course structure is there it is all industry oriented and uh, job oriented uh, course structure and tomorrow when they go into the field what they should know entirely we are going to teach them because if you find uh, other course structures they would miss uh, biology aspects or some course structure might uh, might, might miss uh, forensic medicine or other toxicology aspects some course structure will, will miss uh, physics and chemistry aspects but then we made sure that everything is included we made sure that our students know everything when they go out and also there is some internship which we are going to offer which no other person offers it's a six months internship but then nobody else offers internship uh, along uh, as a, a add on along with the course so mm -hmm. in the internship uh, and also research is another thing which nobody offers in uh, bsc level uh, so these are all the special uh, what do you say features of the course what we are offering so th this is not uh, this is true to shrinivas university all the courses we run we offer it according to industry standards and also offer it according to day to day needs our curriculum uh, it is what do you say we update it every uh, two years we update it every every three years uh, uh, what do you say we call meetings and update and uh, all our uh, external uh, people are there we doctors who and also forensic scientists they come and help us with uh, our course structure and uh, they help us in uh, what do you say developing this course as a world standard uh, course uh, as it is today and other than that for us being a private university we mm -hmm. have collaborations means we have uh, our own in house uh, pharmacy college which which helps us in drug uh, what do you say testing and uh, what do you say chemical testings we have our own engineering college and also computer science college in house uh, that, that is just 20 30 meters away in the next building basically 
so students can uh, what do you say um, make use of uh, such kind of labs and also we have a very well equipped practical lab uh, mm-hmm. and also that criminology really practical lab they will be studying about criminology and practical aspects of criminology and along with that uh, we have a very uh, well equipped forensic medicine practical lab forensic science practical lab and also a museum basically where they will they would they would see all different i think in the video you you have shown the museum there mm-hmm. some gl- uh, glimpses of the museum they might have seen some uh, uh, photographs and other uh, things yeah. there inside yeah. but then uh, th- th- those are uh, the special aspects which you can see in uh, uh, what do you say a private university a good private university if you are doing it in a stand alone college you you might not be able to get uh, this complete package and along with that we have mou with the private uh, industries as i told you a private investigative agency we have a mou we have mou with the uh, what do you say uh, other colleges uh, and universities around bangalore mm-hmm. and also some of the uh, universities in bangalore also uh, for uh, our course we have mous where we help them out with the curriculum and they help them us uh, uh, help, help us out with the curriculums and also guest lectures and all those things we also have uh, permission from fsl to send our students there uh, and they can uh, what do you say we, uh, go there and uh, uh, learn first hand from uh, our mangalore fsl itself we have right. fsl here in mangalore uh, mangalapuram there is a fsl where they can go and uh, they can attend uh, uh, and see first hand what works what work goes on in the fsl they would also okay. we have what do you say collaboration with our police department also where we can send our students uh-huh. and uh, um, what do you say they can uh, see first hand what happens in a police station and uh, uh, how law enforcement is done and along with that ours is the first college or first uh, university here to offer msc and also post phd degrees here so msc is again we again it will be too much for a student if i tell now but then the speciality about our msc is basically we developed it along with the fsl uh, what the joint director of mangalore basically okay. she herself uh, came and uh, what do you say told us what is the industry requirement the okay. forensic science whatever msc we have we have uh, 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 started this year basically the industry requirement, requirement and fsl requirement whatever is there uh, uh, and we are the only college in india which is providing this type of msc uh, which, which is a specialty msc in forensic science most of the colleges provide forensic science and criminology msc but then we are the only ones providing specialty msc uh, for our bsc forensic science student once our student uh, uh, completes bsc forensic science here uh, bsc forensic science and criminology they can come and join the same uh, msc specialty where we will be teaching them in detail related to the different uh, uh, departments of uh, fsl and uh, what do you say they will uh, become a specialist uh, forensic scientist with the with the post graduation so we are the only ones who are doing this much research and all those things related to uh, forensic science that is why i feel uh, uh, it is it is a good uh, what do you say place sort of for a student that, uh, to be if they want to study forensic science okay, okay so there are some questions asked by students okay a yeah. question on the screen lo ganche uh, from uh, dia p biju can a science stream student can join in criminology no the thing is this is a bsc forensic science and criminology it's not a criminology course per se uh-huh. see uh, there might be some mis- misconceptions related to criminology and mm-hmm. forensic science in some students okay what happens here is without criminology forensic science doesn't exist mm-hmm. without studying about criminals you can't study forensic science okay that is why criminology uh, in a, we are teaching criminology only in uh, one forensic semester uh, uh, that uh-huh. that would be uh, uh, second uh, basically third semester uh, that, that is where you study criminalistics and criminology so that one aspect of criminology if you don't study you will not understand crime you will not understand uh, uh, if you don't understand crime how good a forensic scientist you will be so that is why criminology is also a science basically which is help, helping forensic science. It, it goes hand in hand that is why we teach criminology also as i told you a uh, great care has gone to develop this curriculum so that uh, everything is covered whatever is required okay. for a forensic scientist is covered we have not uh, left any basis uh, open so uh, i think that answers the question okay coming to the next question from akshya prabha kumar 
is this course is job or uh, job oriented <laughs> yes this is very much job oriented yes definitely as uh, our uh, uh, associate professor uh, mr devasilan he has already told you uh, mm-hmm. job oriented again first thing is government oriented jobs definitely first preference would be given that is that's what uh, law law enforcement oriented jobs first preference would be given to a bsc forensic science uh, and bsc forensic science and criminology graduate basically if it is a uh, law enforcement oriented job mm-hmm. other than that private uh, uh, what do you say companies also as a uh, what do you say private investigator they might join uh, and they might also uh join as a network uh, administrator or uh, there are so many jobs other than that there is one more thing what uh, uh, our associate professor has told that is you mm-hmm. can also become your own uh, uh, nowadays in this uh, world better to become your own uh, what do you say boss is it not so you can open up a uh, investigative agency yourself that's what uh, and uh, there are so many things which you don't know what is going on around Uh, okay. there is something called as motor vehicle i think sir missed it uh, mo mvc cases motor vehicle compensation uh, when two a- cars or two bikes or a, uh, one car and a person collide what will happen the court will uh, it will go it will become a court case is it not yeah. and uh, this insurance companies have have to release insurance in such kind of cases so who goes and investigates who goes and sees whether uh, actually the accident has happened whether uh, whether the vehicle is damaged or whether the person is actually the, 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 that that is where private investigator comes into picture that is where uh, in mangalore there are some uh, oh, five people who are doing the same uh, private investigation related to mvc cases and they are making uh, what we say a lot of uh, 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 money basically with this because accidents happen every day is it not india uh, has the highest amount of road traffic accidents and uh, uh, most people don't know about uh, uh, what do you say um uh, motor vehicle uh, compensation the, this role nobody knows mm-hmm. about forensic uh, uh, science I, i don't think anybody has told you about this is it not that's what <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yes, yes. Uh, many of the forensic science graduates are doing uh, in mangalore at least uh, mm-hmm. that is not caught up in other parts of uh, our country but then uh, it can become big it can become big and uh, every city can have at least three to four forensic scientists doing this yes, yes, yes. Uh, it, it, lots of openings are there other mm-hmm. than that kerala police first preference is given for forensic science and criminology first preference aha uh-huh. okay okay so uh, even we can do for the teaching jobs as, as well right yeah definitely teaching job uh, once they complete msc uh, the uh, teaching job definitely first preference would be given uh, if they are a specialist uh, or if they are uh, uh, what do you say uh, even uh, regular ms uh, msc forensic science and technology te- teaching job they are most welcome not only in uh, uh, india but also abroad other than okay. that uh, there are some uh, uh, other fields like media uh, even there we have some graduates even in amazon and uh, flipkart also we have some uh, bsc forensic science people because uh, to study uh, what do you say uh, corporate espionage as uh, sir already told uh, yeah, to yeah. study all those things even private banks actually our students here who are studying in second year uh, they were selected by I- 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 icdc which bank icfc bank basically okay. they were selected even when they were in second year itself okay uh-huh. so please so the, the job year. fair in our srinivas university we conduct job fairs and uh, in those job fairs uh, uh, our students uh, i had sent them uh, just to see whether they'll be selected or not and they were selected three of them were selected and they can also become vigilance officers uh, they can also become uh, airport uh, uh, security officers in airport all those things are uh, there the uh, world is wide open for a forensic science graduate okay okay so coming to the next question from uh, jabir salaudin my subject is biocomputer i, I don't have max yeah. can i join in forensic science if he has physics chemistry and biology aha uh-huh. he I can answer. join oh, of course yeah he can join there is no okay. there is no st- uh, no one to stop him from joining this he can join if he has pcb he can join because okay. we have in our college the uh, basic thing is anatomy physio- if they don't have biology they will not understand anything related to this. that is why we have restricted uh, with pcb biology should be there okay sir so coming to the next question from uh, siddharth shyam scopes for cyber security compared to bsc forensics both have equal scope mm-hmm. i will tell you both have equal scope both are new and the, in our country both Uh, in both the subjects there are no spe- enough number of specialists uh, 
ओके सो इवन इन ए पुलिस स्टेशन ए फोरेंसिक साइंटिस्ट इज इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट टू ए साइबर सिक्योरिटी पर्सन सो बोथ हैव इक्वल स्कोप ओके ओके सर सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फ्रेडिन जॉय शुड वी स्टडी लॉस लॉस एज अ सब्जेक्ट इन फोरेंसिक साइंस कोर्स the forensic science will teach you criminal law Th- that okay. would be a s- very small aspect 30 hours of criminal law 30 hours that's all okay 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 in our curriculum and 30 hours me 30 classes of criminal law will be taught and that is not a major subject criminal law it is a subsidiary subject so it will not have a university exam it will have a internal test and they have to pass that internal test okay sir and one more question we have from jabed salahuddin like uh, can you detail about the mental ability a forensic scientist need to be so there is a question mental ability yes ah. so basically a forensic scientist has to be uh, what do you say smart in dealing with things is it not if you becomes a private investigator and if he doesn't think quick uh, what, what good is a forensic investigator without being quick so right. basic here in our course when we take the, when we get those students definitely we teach them observational skills so okay. mental ability whatever mental ability is there earlier we will try to sharpen it by teaching them observational skills and uh, we will uh, smart try to get them uh, what do you say uh, ready when they go out into the world uh, mm-hmm. they will we will teach them reasoning how how to reason with the, uh, basically uh, if they get some evidence uh, how, how the, uh, the reasoning is required is it not to interpret it even we will we'll be teaching them all those things so mental okay. ability will not be a question if they get 50% and above in uh, Now what do you say in their PCB or PCMB? Uh, definitely, their mental ability would be good enough for uh, our course. Even okay. reporting and all those things, definitely. Uh, in this three years, when they come and be with us, definitely they'll be competent enough to get out into the world. Yeah, okay, sir. So one last question from uh, Jibin Johns: Is there is yeah. difference in job at fri- uh, private sector and government? So is there any difference? He's asking. Difference is uh, again difference is pay pay difference is there. definitely government means definitely uh, every year uh, there will be pay hikes and all those things that that is one difference second thing is uh, difference as such it depends upon your preference okay huh? um mm-hmm. uh, your preference is there and so, uh, for government sector again competitive exams might have to be written if they have to get the job because there will be so many people uh, competing and in private usually what happens there uh, it is upon merit is it not you go to interview you will be selected based upon how you talk how you walk and all those things and how your skills are so that is a difference basically okay that okay. is a difference and again the sky is the limit for your pay how good exactly, you are depending sir. upon that uh, usually you get paid in private okay. sector okay sir so thank you for your valuable time so from ajual side we are so much uh, so much of grateful to you and your team yeah. okay so like uh, yeah thank thank you very much thank you very much uh, okay. it's a nice initiative what you have done so that students uh, learn few things about what is forensic science and also no better about the subject thank you okay sir okay sir thank you thank you for your team okay appo namaku or last question saji sunil ledu vandittunde adayathu which are the jobs we can work in government sec- uh, sector if we complete a bsc forensic science and criminology uh, yeah. Uh, yeah 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 so you can continue one one more question is there from Sa- sayujiya sunil if you can answer uh-huh. you can answer otherwise i'm going to answer uh, okay so basically in intelligence bureau you might have heard about ib is it not intelligence bureau uh-huh. uh, central government that that is one possibility uh, cbi is a possibility state state level, uh, related intelligence uh, bureaus are there okay mm-hmm. even that is a possibility police direct uh, police uh, recruitment what is that you, 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 uh, that is also a possibility along with that uh, fingerprint bureau is there there is something uh-huh. called a fingerprint bureau which is present in every single state Mm-hmm. okay so as a fingerprint expert in that fingerprint bureau it is a possibility forensic science laboratories it is a possibility for them to work uh, uh, cyber cyber crime division it is a possibility for them to work other than that uh, once they finish msc any government uh, university they can be hired as a lecturer that is also a possibility uh, even mm-hmm. ips cadre if, if they write uh, competitive exams ips cadre uh, also they can what do you say become uh, 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 UPSC also they can write and uh, th- that's what all all the opportunities are there for them in government. Hmm? Okay, okay. So one more last question: uh, Is this college yeah. UGC certified? From yes, it is UGC certified. Yes, okay. definitely. Okay. Uh, we are a state private university and we are UGC certified. Okay, okay, sir. So thanks yeah. uh, once again for your valuable time. So we are now talking about a lot of opportunities in the government sector. Under the CID session, IB under. പിന്നെ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ലാബ്സിൽ നമുക്ക് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ഓപ്ഷൻ ഉണ്ട് അതുപോലെ ലോ ആൻഡ് എൻഫോഴ്സ്മെൻറ
അപ്പം അതുപോലെ തന്നെ പ്രൈവറ്റ് സെക്ടറിൽ ബാങ്കുകളിൽ ഒരു ഫോറൻസിക് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേറ്റർ അതേപോലെ ഇൻഷുറൻസ് കമ്പനിയിൽ ഫോറൻസിക് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റി ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേറ്റർ ഡിറ്റക്റ്റീവ് ഏജൻസി പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഡിറ്റക്റ്റീവ് ഏജൻസി അതിൽ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് എടുക്കാൻ നേരത്തെ സാറ് സൂചിപ്പിച്ച പോലെ തന്നെ മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ഓപ്ഷൻ അതിലും നമുക്ക് മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ടീച്ചിങ് പൊതുവെ ടീച്ചിങ്ങിലോട്ട് താല്പര്യമുള്ള കുട്ടികളാണെങ്കിൽ മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ടീച്ചിങ്ങിലോട്ടും പോകാനുള്ള ഓപ്ഷൻസ് നമുക്ക് നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ മുന്നിലുണ്ട് അതായത് ഇതിനോട് പാഷനേറ്റ് ചെയ്തായിട്ട് പഠിക്കാൻ താല്പര്യമുള്ള എല്ലാവർക്കും ഏറ്റവും നല്ലൊരു ഓപ്ഷൻ തന്നെയാണ് എന്ത് ബി എസ് സി ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് ക്രിമിനോളജിയും പിന്നെ സെർ പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ അതായത് ഹ്യൂമാനിറ്റീസ് കൊമേഴ്സോ ഉള്ള സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റിന് സെലക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഓപ്ഷനാണ് ഫോറൻസിക് സൈബർ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി എന്നുള്ളത് അപ്പം ഈ രണ്ട് ഓപ്ഷനെ കുറിച്ച് ഇനിയും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഡൗട്ടുകൾ ഉണ്ടാവാം എന്തൊക്കെയാണ് കാരണം നിങ്ങളുടെ ഈ സംശയത്തിന് ഫോറൻസിക് സയൻസ് എന്താണെന്ന സംശയത്തിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഈ ഒരു വെബിനാർ തന്നെ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പം ഇനിയുള്ള അങ്ങോട്ടുള്ള എല്ലാ സംശയങ്ങൾക്കും നമ്മുടെ കൗൺസിലേഴ്സിന് നിങ്ങളെ കോൺടാക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതായിരിക്കും ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ വൈൻഡപ്പ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോവുകയാണ് ഇത്രയും അധികം നേരം നമ്മുടെ കൂടെ ഡിസ്കസ് ഈ ഒരു ഡിസ്കഷനിൽ പങ്കെടുത്ത എല്ലാ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളും എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു അവരുടെ കൂടെ പാരൻസ് ഉണ്ടാവും അവർ ബ്രദേഴ്സ് സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് എല്ലാവരും പങ്കെടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവും എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്നു എല്ലാവർക്കും എജുവേൾഡിൻ്റെ സൈഡിൽ നിന്നും എൻ്റെ സൈഡിൽ നിന്നും ഞാൻ നന്ദി അറിയിക്കുകയാണ് ആൻഡ് നമ്മുടെ ഗസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു നമ്മുടെ സാറ് സാറിൻ്റെ ടീമും ഒരുപാട് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻസ് ആണ് നമുക്ക് ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ സൈൻ ഓഫ് ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ബാക്കിയുള്ള എല്ലാ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസിനും നമ്മൾ കൗൺസിലേഴ്സിനെ ബന്ധപ്പെടാം ഓക്കെ ദൻ ബൈ എജു വാ